this is Belinda with Belinda's Bobbles and welcome to it out and about. Today is St. Patrick's Day 2024 and I am at DJ's Classic Alpacas Spring Fling Day in Keller, Texas and I just wanted to bring you along. Right behind me are some of the herd. Let's go have some fun. We had a lot of rain here yesterday so lots and lots of puddles. and lots and lots of mud. I just wanted to come in with some additional information. The farm started in 2008 when Jim and Debbie Conkle purchased their first alpacas. The herd now numbers around 50 and they also have a farm store where they have fiber, fleas, as well as selling these gorgeous alpacas. I wish I had smell-o-vision because, oh, look at the little ones in the background. Uh, again, I wish I had smell-o-vision because you can definitely smell the wet alpaca out here. Everyone's going to be so jealous of me, yes. You are so generous to give us all nice warm scarves and hats and sweaters. <laughs> now, what is your name? This one is Tiger Lily and that one is... Tiger Lily, okay. You're done with me, aren't you? Oh, okay. Hi, we are with... I'm Michelle. Hi, Michelle, and welcome. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're up to? So, we have taken, after shearing, the alpaca fleece, and this is straight off out of the bag. So, you can see with the, their locks, they kind of clump together. So, what you would have to do in order to start preparing this is you're going to have to break it up, and that's a process called picking. In order to speed up this process, we have what's called a box picker. Just because it's in a box, but also it's got these nails in here yeah. and that's going to actually tear through the fleece and help open it up. So you see we have essentially just this pinch of fiber. We're going to load it in here and then we're going to go back and forth. You could spin the, the raw fleece, but it will be a very lumpy, bumpy yarn. So we're going to actually use this to open up the fiber. Target myself in trouble. It's going in here and it's coming out here after it's been run through those nails that are in here. Oh, that's a lot of fluff right there. And as you can tell, I'll finish the pinch so you can see the difference. I'm just opening it up. Sort of like if you make whipped cream, you add air and it gets bigger than the heavy cream you started with. Well, here it is. So then you're gonna have, we started with that little pinch, now we have what's called a cloud. We're now gonna take this cloud and run it through our drum carter. So we're gonna start here. 
and we're just going to slowly feed it in. This is essentially like brushing your hair. So all of the fibers are going to go straight and in one direction, which will make it easier to spin. Switch that down a bit. So it's starting here. It's starting in here and then it's getting rolled up onto this larger drum. I already had some fiber on here before we started recording. So it's ready to take off. But we're just going to go here, pull it up. And then we're going to pull it off here. So drum carters will make what's known as a, a bat. Going on with two T's, not one T, for, you know, <laughs> our English nerds out there. And as you can tell here, let's get a better light, all the fibers are now going in a single direction. We can then roll it up like this. This would be what's known as the bat right here. And we can spin it either from this end or we can tear strips off and spin it essentially from like this. And spin it just this way. I already have a bat going here. So as you can see fluff is very easy to pull apart and it's not that strong. We're going to add twist to it and that will give it more strength. In order to quickly add twist we're going to use our spinning wheel. If you come around here we have a big wheel attached to a little wheel. One turn around with this big wheel, lots of turnarounds with the little wheel. This little wheel is then attached to this little funky unit called a flyer, and that's what's actually going to deliver the, the twist. So, with my forward hand, I am keeping the twist from entering the fluff. With my backward hand, I am determining how much fluff I let into the yarn. The more fluff I let in, the thicker the yarn, the less fluff, the thinner the yarn. And the area in between is known as your drafting triangle because it kind of makes a little triangular pattern. If you look really closely here, I'm going to move the wheel slowly. I'm not moving my hand and you can see nothing's really happening up here. But what is actually really happening is between yeah. here and here, twist is being added to this length of yarn. As I slowly move my hand towards the wheel, you can see that the yarn is being wrapped around this bobbin here. You're going to keep going until either your bobbin is full or you run out of fluff, whichever comes first. And then afterwards, I'll take another one. This is what's known as a singles. I'll take another singles and I'll apply it back onto itself or apply it together and spin it in the opposite direction. And it'll make a yarn similar to this. That is amazing. All I am getting right now are blobs, oh, and I'm, but I'm, but I'm keeping going. I'm not, get, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving, I'm not giving up. No. Hard to record black yarn. No, I'm no, not the blobs here. I'm talking about what I'm doing with my drop spindle. Oh, I see, I see, I see. All, I, all I'm getting is blobs so far, but I'm not, you know, I'm not giving up. <laughs> yes, but I've also been spinning for 17 years. Yeah, it's like riding a bike. It's also very relaxing. So don't be discouraged. Everybody spins blobby yard at the beginning. Oh, well, good. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Now, do you have any idea who this um, fleece came off of? This particular animal is named Maria. We don't have her on the farm right now, but she is lovely to spin. And I think. Now, is she one of the ones that went to Colorado for breeding, or is she? Uh, you know, I'm not here on the farm as okay. recently, so I'm not exactly sure where her whereabouts are, uh, but I'm sure she is, wherever she is, she's being well-loved. I'm sure. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs>
Okay, a little bit of a fun fact that I found out. You can see the droppings out there, I'm sure. But guess what? The droppings don't smell. Yes, I'm talking about you. Somebody's coming to see us. <laughs> Hi there. I just got rid of all my food. I don't have any more. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, unfortunately, I don't have any more food. I just got rid of it. But the droppings, I've been told, do not smell. The liquid does. And if you put the droppings all in a pile and let it sit there for a while and then stir it, then it will. But it's nothing like horses. Oh, you want to follow us, huh? Somebody is curious about my microphone cord. Hi. <laughs> you got an itch back there? You want to be on camera with me? Hi. <laughs> oh, you want to see what the, is in the bag? No, there's nothing in the bag. Sorry, guys. <laughs>